I um, grew up in a small coastal town, not very far from where we shot the film. My parents happened to run a movie theater, just a one-room movie theater, very small, in a, a town where there is a military air airport built by the American during the Vietnam War. So because of that, there was some fighting, there's some bombardment. As a little kid growing up, you know, experience uh, all the violence and the death. Um, it's very disturbing. So one day I have the, uh, the idea of ju just running to the cinema and stay in there for, you know, uh, after school for hours and, and, and through cinema. Uh, you know, I, I was able to see film from all over the world. So, but after that, I never uh, thought of going into filmmaking because in Vietnam, you know, filmmaking is not a profession that you can help you to put food on the table. So I, I head into other uh, area, uh, which is uh, uh, science, physics in particular, which I, I love it. I, I, I was passionate about physics too, not that just, you know, to, to, to make a living, but uh, I was truly fascinated with it. Um, and then I, I continue my studying. I immigrate to France and I continue my study there. But I watch a lot of film in France, but at the same time, I never had any desire of going into filmmaking. I was happy in, in engineering and science. And I continued that in the US. After later, I immigrate from France to the US. In science, I'm working on the research and development. So the challenge there is to try to find a new way to do things or, or the best way to do something that have either have not been done or have been done before, but we try to do it more efficiently. It's a challenge I pose to myself every time to try to do a scene, uh, to tell a story, to, to edit a film, to choose a music, etc. in such a way that, that, that uh, you know, um, it's, it's totally new for me in many different cultures, including the Vietnamese culture where I'm, where I'm originally from. Water is a symbol of um, purification of life. But at the same time, uh, water is also has the potential in the near future if this global warming continue, if the sea level would raise as predicted. Uh, it will affect many countries in the world, in particular country near the equator, where the effect of the rising sea level will be most felt. So water can become a threat, can become a medium of death and destruction. And so it's a mixed metaphor for the film. The most difficult thing for us is to shoot on not only boat, but small boat, which is very mobile and, and no stability and uh, you know, to have the image that we need. Uh, we have to plan uh, very carefully and uh, we have to try to rig up the boat in a certain way that the camera and the, the actor will move together. And also um, electricity for lighting is a big issue. Uh, we couldn't have, you know, big generator on the boat and, and next to the actor where, you know, we can record dialogue. So we have to be very creative. I start later in my life, uh, unlike most of other uh, filmmakers. Um, but I feel very uh, natural. It's like homecoming for me.